Well, the White House has today denied reports that Joe Biden is consulting allies about whether to continue in the US election race. It was a rumour backed in by Biden's favourite Republican rival. He just quit, you know, he's quitting the race. Is that right? Yep, I got him out of the race. Wow. And that means we have Kamala. Wow. I think she's going to be better. She's so bad. She's so pathetic. Now, it comes after that horrific performance from the president where he resembled a space cadet. You remember this one? The, uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare... But the Democrats were out today still trying to pull the wool over our eyes. I'm here to tell you today, President Joe Biden is in it to win it. And all of us said we pledged our support to him because the stakes could not be higher. Let's talk to former U.S. Studies Centre senior Stephen Loosely now for more on this. Thank you so much for your time, Stephen. Uh, look, the excuses the Please. Democrats are coming up with for the president are just getting ridiculous. Yesterday, the White House put his debate performance down to a bad day. Today, it was he had a bad day and a cold. How much longer can they keep protecting him? Well, what tends to happen, Danica, in a situation like this, be it in the United States or Australia or other democracies, is you have a shift in terms of the broader party. Your donors stop contributing. Your candidates, particularly your incumbents, in marginal seats start getting very edgy. Finally, the power brokers in the party understand there's a need to act. And the Democrats are moving through those stages at the moment. Now, Joe Biden has an extraordinarily loyal base, particularly around him in the White House, beginning with family and stretching out to senior staff. But the pressure will become overwhelming and the Democrats will need to look at another candidate well prior to the uh, Democratic National Convention in Chicago in August. Well, that's not too far away then. And there have been uh, suggestions that Kamala Harris would be the next in line, that she would step in. Do you think that she would? And is that really a smart move? Uh, the vice president uh, is guaranteed the presidency if the president, of course, uh, dies or is incapacitated with the 25th Amendment uh, to the US uh, Constitution. So clearly the vice president is, uh, is under scrutiny here. And very senior figures in the, uh, the party, I'm thinking of Congressman James Blyburn of South Carolina, have made it clear they expect if there's a change of uh, candidate, then the vice president will be foremost in consideration. Her poll ratings are not particularly strong. Uh, she has her critics well beyond the Democratic uh, Party. And there are probably stronger candidates amongst governors, uh, for example, upon whom the Democrats can uh, draw. But it is a blessedly difficult situation in which the Democrats find themselves now. And it would be an extraordinarily difficult step to pass over a, a woman of colour who's occupying the vice presidency and, and look elsewhere. The only uh, comparable circumstance in uh, our lifetimes, or certainly in my lifetime, uh, has been Lyndon Johnson's withdrawal, completely unexpected, except for his immediate family, particularly his wife, Lady Bird, from the Democratic uh, presidential contest in, in March of 1968, where he announced at the end of a, a, a long statement on Vietnam, uh, I'm paraphrasing here, but I think I've got the sense, uh, he said, I, I will not seek nor will I accept the nomination of my party for a f further term as your president. And that cleared the way to an extent for the Democrats to move. They moved to Hubert Humphrey, who ran a vigorous campaign, always behind, but ran Richard Nixon a, a reasonably uh, a tough race. Mm. So that was what happened when there was time. There's very little time now. But if yeah. Joe Biden is the candidate for the Democrats in November, I think you can see uh, uh, the White House return to Donald Trump the first time since Grover Cleveland. And the Democrats may well lose both houses of the Congress, so high well, stakes. You, you, yeah. you made a good point there about time because the polling is not in the president's favour either. A USA Today poll shows Biden uh, is 
uh, trailing Trump. But according to a CNN poll, 56% of Democratic voters say their party has a better shot at winning with a candidate other than Joe Biden. So, Stephen, you know, if, if these polls are indeed correct, no, no matter which way you look at it, Joe Biden is cooked. He's gone. Yes, yeah, so I, I think uh, the, the president's future is determined and he should not be the candidate uh, for the Democratic Party in, uh, in November. What happened in the uh, debate, Danica, above everything else, was that a, a great many Americans saw just how aged and how frail the president had become. And a lot of people were expecting another performance along the lines of the State of the Union address earlier this year, where he was fiery and, uh, and feisty and answered his critics uh, uh, very directly. He performed extremely well. But uh, I'm afraid that the years have not been uh, kind overall, and mm -hmm. uh, it's time uh, for uh, for President Biden to uh, uh, to depart and, and yeah. hand the baton, to use uh, Jack Kennedy's expression, onto someone else. As simple as that. Absolutely. Stephen Loosely, good to speak with you. Thank you so much for joining us this evening.